So we're here today to talk about something that's very close to you, something that has fascinated you, and uh, that's data. And you're you're a person who loves data. So can you tell us a little bit about that? What what what, what fascinates you about data? I have always appreciated the story that data can tell. Um, one of my go-to examples, one that really really interested me, was in 2004. Uh, there's a classic business case study where uh, in 2004 there were hurricanes hitting Florida and Walmart's uh, CIO was, you know, they're gearing up what to do to prepare for the hurricane. Hurricane Charlie just hit a few months earlier. You're looking around at, at other stores, Home Depot, grocery stores, they're saying, let's get bottled water, let's get flashlights, let's get, let's get blankets. These are things that we intuitively think of what we need to prepare the essentials, right? But what Walmart did was they employed a new system using data, data mining techniques. And they found that looking at their customer's behavior, the sale of beer and Pop-Tarts were like seven to 10 X, you know, to prepare for the hurricane. And they said, you know what, let's try this. And it was a huge success. And so data's always been really interesting to me because it can point out some abnormal trends or really, really valuable information. If I'd have known we need blankets, it's not really too valuable. So data can really tell the story that we can't do so on our own. No, that makes sense. And, and from what we've seen here at Smart Carrot, um, with most customer success managers, um, is that they don't have access to most of the tools or even the data that is part of those tools. And so a lot of times you're actually working or you're working on assumptions or you're just flying in blind into situations where you don't know what's going to hit you. And is that something that you've experienced as well? Absolutely. Uh, data silos, process silos, even just departmental silos can certainly be an issue. And it's different company to company, but we all experience it. You know, um, data is collected for business problems are dynamic, right? A company starts out, sales, 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 you know, they've got to get off the ground, obviously. Yeah. But then it, it comes time to, we need to support these customers. Well, I'll throw some numbers out there. What if we bring in $50 million a year, but our sales are only $10 million a year? We've got this huge set of revenue that's coming in from customers we already have. And, uh, you know, churn is expensive for everybody. True. One, we're not getting that revenue coming in the next year and someone else spent a lot of money on customer acquisition. Yeah. Imagine what it would cost us to get them back. Absolutely. So, you know, with those silos, the data can again tell that story to help break down those silos. Where if a customer comes out of implementation and comes to me, yeah. and they're more confused than they've ever been, yeah. and or they don't know, maybe they lost sight of, of why they chose our solution. Right. You know, that's something that we can make measurable improvements on to, to work together, break down those processes. I can reach out, our leadership can get together and, uh, and really improve the, the experience for everyone involved. Right. So data helps highlight those kinds of things when they're happening.